Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to remove classes from an element with jQuery. In the same way you can add classes to an element with jQuery add class function, you can remove them with jQuery's remove class. Here's how you would do that with this for a specific button. So here on target 2 they're removing button default. Um, target 2 has a class of button default. So keep an eye on target 2. Basically what happens if you remove button default from target 2? You'll see that it loses that outline shape and it loses this hover effect. Um, so what they're saying is you can do this instead of just doing it in HTML, you can do it with jQuery. That seems crazy right now, but in the future, you'll understand that that's uh, something that's a useful uh, skill to understand. So let's remove the button default class from all of our button elements. Okay, so it's saying remove them from all of our button elements. What does that tell us? Well, we can do a selector. What do we want to do? We want to target a um, overall element. Um, so we're just going to go button. And then we can go remove class. And then we're going to remove the class of button default. And now we're going to lose all the outlining on all of these other elements, which is apparently what we're looking to do. Run the test and that passes. Okay, so once again, um, oh, and then check it out. We can double check to see it. If I inspect the element, so I right click, press I, and then go in here, you'll see the target button animated bounce. Now, we have the class up here. It's um, on target five. We have button, button default, target. Button, no button default, target animated bounce. So this is where it's changed. And so we've used jQuery to change it from our HTML to after the jQuery. So first, the, the interpreter runs through here. <clears throat> it says, okay, when the document's ready, we're going to run what's inside of here. But the document's not ready. So it's remembered what to do when the document is ready. And then we are closing that script. So it's still interpreting. And then it renders out all this HTML. And once it's at the end, the document is ready. So we come back up to the document ready. And then we run this function because this says, okay, this document is ready. And so now we're running this function. And that creates a bun button with the animated bounce. And then it create makes the wells have an animated shake. And then on uh, target three, we have an animated fade out. That's why it's faded out. And then finally, oh, look at that. I had a typo. We remove the class of button default from all of them. So this is actually a silly thing to write in code, but it's just trying to show you that you can also remove classes. I mean, in my opinion, it would be, make a lot more sense just to remove the button default from here. But I mean, if you had a page with 700 buttons on there and you just wanted to get something done for a client quickly, you could just do a quick jQuery thing and then just uh, be complete with it there. Anyways, run the test. We'll see that pass. Uh, great. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.